hello, hello, and welcome back to another Rise of Empires Ice of Fire video with me, Mr. Gill. Thank you so much for joining me, and thank you so much for all of your previous views, likes, comments, suggestions, and all of that jazz. And look at you, you lucky people. Two videos in one week. My God, this could be like the old times. Remember that? The pre-times, the before times, the times when I was possibly popping out two videos a day on Rise of Empires. It was craziness. Absolute craziness. God, I wasn't doing anything but this game and going to the pub. It was a, uh, a hard time in the world, but uh, quite an enjoyable time for me. However, now we have work and we have other responsibilities, so I'm only able to come every so often and make a little video. I wanted to talk about city layout today. You can see here, I've just gone into the uh, castle menu and said change layout. It has given me a layout that it thinks is viable for my castle. I don't know, like this layout. I don't know, like this layout at all. I think it's ugly. I think it's boring. I think it's not making use of the new water wheels. So this layout system is outdated and broken effectively if it can't use the water wheels. So that's stupid. Um, it's got stuff all over the place, to be honest. I don't really understand it. It's just a bit silly. Now, let's pop back and have a look at the layout I have currently. Now, in no way, shape or form am I suggesting that my layout is the best layout. The best layout for you is the layout that makes you happy. Um, however, there are some things to consider that will make your layout in your castle a little bit more efficient. Can we scroll out, please? No, I can't. That's as far as I can go out. Well, that sucks to be me. Ladies and gentlemen, what I've done here is try to make things a little bit efficient, but also a little bit aesthetically pleasing. Um, as well as try and maximize, uh, minimize the amount of time these little guys are running around the place. If you see here, we have our castle sitting in the middle. Your castle can't be moved, uh, which is kind of annoying. I wish you could move your castle. It would make everything very nice. The other main area up here is all of these decorations. Um, I don't believe you actually have to have your decorations out. However, I liked all of those and they looked nice and pretty, so I kept them up there. We then have walls going around. Uh, a common misconception is that walls actually play a part in any defense of your town. They do not. You do not have to have walls. They are there purely as a decoration item. If you take all the walls away, it is not like you will be defeated faster, etc, etc. That also carries secondary for gates. Having gates in strategic areas will not give you any benefit in any sort of battle. Um, the third area we have over here is our storages. Now these storages are laid out in order of the use that I use the most. Uh, food, currently marble, uh, lumber, and then iron, obviously ending with the ale and then the charcoal. Charcoal, actually, I might move up here because I use it a little bit more than I thought. We then have our little workmen here. So when you need to refill something, your little workmen are going to run out of here, they're going to run into the storages, they're going to run over somewhere else, they're going to drop those things off, and they're going to start to build. Now, that takes time. So it doesn't take a lot of time. However, that 20, 30 seconds can be reduced by placing your workers closer to your storages and closer to the things that you want to upgrade. I've settled on this as the kind of best of most worlds um, in that they're close to here. What they are close to is my charcoal factories and my crystal workshop and my dragonite workshop. By having them close to here, things that I update on a daily basis, I, I uh, add resources to on a daily basis, that makes these guys a little bit faster. Now, some of you will be saying, Mr. Gill, they're not connected to a road, they are not working. Of course they're working, ladies and gentlemen. I filled these up last night and if we build a road now, like here we will see they go like that and there is the resource there it is slower without a doubt i think it is slower i've not been able to time how much slower it is it is slower however we can see now when we fill this baby up again it should be faster to fill them there goes the little guys they're going to run up there oh no they're going to go straight in because they've got the gold they do not know need to go to any sort of gold storage since there is not gold storage they're carrying it for these guys here they will run somewhere no, charcoal as well, they just go straight in. Okay, that's not charcoal, that's dragonite. Interesting, because there is no dragonite storage. I'm being an idiot. That's fine. Being an absolute idiot. I did this yesterday and I know why I did it. We can see it here. <laughs> if we put the road there, and we want to fill this charcoal factory up. Transport like a so. Bam, all the way, we're putting the wood. These guys will now have to go and get the wood before they can get it over there. So we save a little bit of time by having them there. Once this is full, we can remove that road, like so. Bam, like that. Uh, this guy's in there full, they'll do their things and I'll check on them again later. I can also remove the storages. However, if I remove the storages from the road, I will only have what is what I call natural 
storage, okay? Storage that comes with the castle. The castle itself can store, you know, 500,000 things or whatever. There are some buffs like Alliance Research and all that kind of stuff which adds to it. But say your castle can only store about half a million of each resource. That means if I want to upgrade a building that requires more, uh, let's find a building that I want to upgrade. Say this little baby down here and go like so. You can, oh no, wait, we have to disassociate the road first. Sorry, let's just take the road off. Just to show you how it works. Bam, like a saw. Bam, like that. There we go. Ah, say I want to upgrade this little baby down here, and we go like down to here, and we go like down to here. We can see we are carrying it. Why? Ah, now you can see here. The saved amount has dropped down to 526,000. However, we have a lot more than that. We can have a lot more than that. It will come back as soon as we build that road there again. Like so. It'll take a few seconds. Like so, and there you can see that's popped up to 117. So that's our potential amount we can store at any one time. That means if you need more than you're currently holding or more than the natural amount, which was what, 800,000 or something that we just saw there, you will need to associate your roads. I'm using a stupid word there, but you will need to connect your roads up again. However, if we're not doing any upgrading, I do like to remove my road like so. Ah, and that means that these guys don't have any road access. The other things that don't have road access are up here. These are the dragon shout, the temples, the things like that, the three dragon things. And these are the war rooms, footman, archer, and cavalry war room. Do not need to have a road associated with them. Um, I have tested. You can be shouted by a dragon. You will still defend. You can send a dragon and it will still attack if you do not have these connected to the road. The other things here are things like the shrine, uh, garrison hall, God knows all this other crap, uh, the, whatever this is and that thing and all that kind of stuff. They no longer need, they don't need to be associated either. And then these three buildings here, the tower, the garrison, the sentry, sentry tower or whatever the hell they're called. Those guys don't need to be connected either. So by disconnecting all of these things, but by allowing them to be connected with a simple placing of one road, we can use them whenever we need to. However, by having them disconnected, we can save a lot of charcoal. Our current charcoal usage at the moment should be, oh, I can do it here. In the iPhone, you can't see this top bit of the screen, so it's kind of hard. So our current consumption is 251. Okay, so that's very nice. Current, before I changed this layout, our consumption was sitting at about, what was it, uh, 350, 360. So we're saving 100,000 charcoal per hour, uh, which is you know 2.4 million over a day, which is a considerable amount of charcoal to save. So I highly recommend disconnecting some of your things. We have talked about this long, long, three, maybe, what is it, four years ago, was one of my first videos, um, you know, don't connect the roads or whatever it's called, or save charcoal. Um, but this is why we've adjusted this layout like this. I've also then just added some bits and pieces to make things a little bit more aesthetically pleasing. Uh, tried to connect up these guys here so that we're using all of our water wheels uh, well. You don't actually have to have the water wheel on a river. You can see there that this is two little pieces of river placed there for the water wheel to sit on and that will make it as efficient as it can be. Obviously, the higher level you get, food becomes less and less important, but it is nice to have that all done and dusted. Uh, other things that I've done, eh, nothing really, a little couple of bridges, and then a nice little river that scrolls all the way down here and pops over here, this corner here. And then there's a P for, I don't know, uh, penis. Um, right, so, it's not a P, is it? I think I was trying to make a G, <laughs> but it's backwards. I was like, oh, that doesn't work. All right, cool. So this layout for me is not only, as I said, kind of efficient. It's not perfectly efficient. There's probably a couple of buildings I could take away still. There's probably a way I could move these guys slightly closer still, but I'm kind of happy with them there. But it's also, it's aesthetically how I like it. It looks kind of nice. I like it. It feels kind of clean and open. I can easily see the things that I need to see. The things that I use mostly are within the castle area. This definitely, this little bit here, these one, two, three, four, five, six, seven buildings are the ones that I'm probably clicking on the most every day. Uh, the tavern is currently unfed. Um, uh, I will be feeding the tavern a little bit more often. Obviously, starving your tavern was a thing that, you know, what used to be quite a uh, saving in, in uh, the amount of resources you use. Uh, but uh, now with the, what's it called it? These guys, the Fortress of Glory, 
getting 120% efficiency by having full population, which means your tavern is full of food and ale, uh, that's actually quite a significant amount. If you've got 100 Alliance members gathering from the same resource, and you're at 120% efficiency, you're, you're gonna be bringing in you know, 100 plus uh, resources per time, which, which really does make it quite uh, good. So occasionally I am feeding the tavern now. But this layout seems to work best, I think. I kinda like it. I've seen a few different ones, and obviously there's gonna be far smarter people out there who have made better layouts that are truly optimized. However, for me, this is the best of both worlds. It wasn't too hard to put together. It looks kind of nice, and it does a little bit in saving us resources. This was an attempt to try see if you can join up. You can't do this. You can't have a corner next to a gate, which I think sucks, because I wouldn't have minded these little kind of towery things popping in every so often. Like one over here, one down here. I think this was another attempt. This wasn't the penis letter. This was me trying to make another attempt at that up there. That's what that was. I wouldn't put a P for penis on my castle. That'd be ridiculous. Right, I hope that helped you. Let me know down below what I've done wrong, because undoubtedly somebody will, as they always do. <laughs> um, and maybe share a picture of yours. You can send me uh, something on, I don't know, Discord or... Uh, I don't know how you do things these days. Uh, email, I don't know, something like that. Thanks so much for watching, guys. I'll catch you in the next one. Bye!